afternoon it's currently 12 45 in the afternoon and today i am currently quite, uh, just beside crimple valley viaduct but obviously we're not going to see crimple valley viaduct i hope you enjoyed the video two weeks ago i hope you enjoyed the video a week ago i hope that went well uh, i haven't even recorded it yet as as the time as per the time i'm speaking right now but today we're going on to the other side of Harrogate. We're going up towards the Bilton area, um, even more north of that. We're taking a look at the other end of the line, and essentially this is obviously an abandoned viaduct once again. It's kind of semi-abandoned this time, because it's now part of a walkway. However, what's even more interesting is the fact that there are plans to reopen this now. So this is Nidgorge Viaduct. It's right out by, uh, between Bilton and Ripley. Now the railway line didn't actually go off to Ripley, but the walkway does. It actually went on to a station that used to be called Ripley, but isn't in, in Ripley, if you kind of get what I mean. No, you probably don't get what I mean at all. So we're going to go off to Nidgorge Viaduct, and where the old uh, Nid railway was, out by the village of Nid. I'm uh, being joined today, this week, by Tom, who actually did appear a little bit in the video two weeks ago. And uh, after after entering the ghetto, we will be straight off to Nid Gorge Viaduct. So, uh, cut to the tape. So in case you didn't know, this video is part of an Easter 2021 special. And this time we've got different collaborators creating videos and putting it into one single playlist. That's right, one single playlist, about eight or nine different YouTube content creators. So go down to the description, go down to the comments, somewhere around there, and you'll find a link. Go check out the videos and I'll see you over there. So we're out here in Bilton, I'm with, I'm with Tom here, what do you call it, Bel Belgian Scribble.io Lord, uh, if you haven't seen that video. Uh, it's going to be in the cards right now, isn't it Tom? Yep. And how good were you at Scribble.io? I was alright. What do you mean you, you're alright? You're, you're brilliant. <laughs> that was that was back in Christmas, but obviously now it's March. It's it's absolutely a glorious day today. Uh, we took the bus out here because we've got a free bus pass and, well, why not? Uh, <laughs> One thing I would say is I'm just not used to electric buses at all. I'm used to hybrid ones, so I was waiting for an engine to kick in, but it never did. But anyway, this path here is essentially where the old railway used to go. The railway closed down in 1964, so it's now what you would call semi-abandoned because it's now only just a path. So it's still used and it's viewed very, very well. However, what's most interesting about this is there are plans to bring back the railway. And I don't know whether they'll be brought back on this path or not, but I, what I do know is that certainly Ripon City Council, who essentially want, <laughs> want, want their city to do a bit better than it's currently doing, they're trying to essentially fund a brand new railway. And I mean, it was a lot easier to build it on old infrastructure than try and build it on some random field and get all that sorted. So we're going to go check out the viaduct, it's a brilliant feat of engineering. I've only ever been across it once on bikes, that was about two years ago. Uh, so it would be quite, quite nice to see it again. And the view is glorious and there's loads of cyclists around here, so I'm going to stop. come down this little woodland kind of area currently just behind me it's hidden behind the trees on the camera I don't know whether how well you can see that right now I'm just trying to uh, find a way down to it because uh, often with like viaducts and stuff you can see its beauty more from a from below than you can see from above uh, one thing I noticed when I was going through Crimple Low Viaduct, whoops, or Crimple Valley Viaduct rather on the train was that actually you don't really notice you're on the viaduct when you're on it now this one's really tall, so you definitely notice you're on something, and it is certainly magnificent. Try and get down here. Bloody hell, I can't see Tom Lawson get down here. <laughs> he's there, he's there in the background. But uh, but I think we're almost down now, actually. 
I think I've found a way. God knows how we're going to get back up. Maybe we'll never get back up. Maybe you'll see in the headlines on um, BBC News, two 18-year-old two lads never get back up the hill again. Oh, my gosh. I promise you, this is the only mud. This is the only mud, yeah? There's, there's no more mud. Don't worry. He asked for no mud. He asked for no mud yes, uh, earlier today. Wow. So, Tom, where are we? We're at Midgord Viaduct. You probably didn't say that loud enough, so we're going to do it again. <laughs> so, Tom, where are we? We are at Midgorge Viaduct. Midgorge Viaduct. That's the loudest we're probably going to get today. So, my fa sheets of facts, my fact sheet, whatever you want to call it. So, just like the previous viaduct we had a look at, it opened in 1848. A lot of railways in Harrogate opened in 1848. And this trek started in Knaresborough, okay? So this, this this trail, this line started in Knaresborough. Now, it didn't go to Ripley like the cycle path does now, like the path does now. It did go over this viaduct, that's for certain. And this viaduct was, uh, it was 32 meters, which is actually a little bit less than the valley viaduct that we saw in Crimple, uh, although that's still functional. Definitely taller than the Crimple low viaduct. This line got about four or five passengers, uh, passenger services a day. It went all the way from Harrogate, like I said, and it went all the way up to North Allerton. Sometimes Thirsk, uh, but uh, most of the time North Allerton. And that would obviously go via Ripon. And if you've ever been in Ripon, it's the smallest city in, in, in England. It's almost not a city. Nowadays, the council is trying to get the railway back. And it's a shame because actually it's a really, really nice footpath. However, it would also be nice to have a railway. So the two things that we kind of, we kind of want, and it's kind of hard to build a viaduct elsewhere because it's going to cost a lot of money. So this viaduct is quite structurally uh, sound, I, I believe, unlike the Cripple Low viaduct, which closed because it was un un unstructurally sound. Now, the reason this closed and the reason why the station just around the corner closed was because uh, beaching cuts in the 1960s and for anybody who doesn't know uh, Britain obviously wasn't doing very well financially around then and especially British Rail so in the 1960s they made these cuts and here we are with a railway that is no longer functional no, no longer running a lot of passenger lines nowadays are trying to open back up again uh, this is probably the number one priority in North Yorkshire area this is definitely a line that would uh, provide a lot of economical value to the North uh, Yorkshire area. So, will it ever open again? Will it be in 10 years that it would be open, Tom? Well, we don't know. Okay, he gave me a completely indecisive answer, didn't tell me yes or no. Let's try again. Yes. He says yes. I think he's right. I think in about, uh, in less than 10 years time, this line will either be opening or opening very, very soon. What we're going to do now is we're going to check the station around the corner, which was called uh, Ripley Station. It got a rename uh, soon after that. It was called Mid Station because it was nowhere near Ripley. So we're going to go check that out uh, and I'll see you in a moment. So, Tom, tell us what happened. Uh, we couldn't get to the station. Why couldn't we get to the station? Because we couldn't find a path. Because we couldn't find a path. Yeah, that's right. We, we, we did find the path. One but problem. We went to that on it. Yeah, it was private property and there was uh, a fellow in a tractor going around the field. So, bearing in mind that the signs were quite clear, uh, I think we decided it's probably not a good idea to go down that path. So, it's a bit unfortunate that we've um, not been able to do that. And we've not been able to uh, go to what used to be called Ripley Station. It actually was called Mid Station from there. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. It's on Ripley Road. And you can see sort of where we used to run through uh, on Google Street View. It's kind of down by a small little shop now. I don't know exactly what it sells, but I'm sure I'll have that on the screen right now. And essentially the driveway was where the trains used to go through. Uh, and, and, and you can kind of make out where the platforms used to be. So that closed down around 1964, to be exact. 1962 was when passenger service completely was lost, but then it went two years for freight services and then they realized actually these freight services aren't working at all. Uh, I mean, its initial cuts were in 1950s. Uh, you would have like five 
southbound passenger journeys and five northbound whereas uh, at the end of 1950s there was only one northbound service so it was like there was no real use for the railway anymore and so obviously uh, they cut it and that's really it for today we're gonna take the bus back home uh, to Leeds hopefully we'll make the next 36 have you got anything to say before you go uh, have a nice day <laughs> you're so unconfident just talk to the camera hello <laughs> Go on, you, you are the outro now. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, he doesn't know what to say. <laughs>